computer. There we go. Everybody, welcome back to day two of Ignite. Today we're doing uh, the Spark Part Two, all about lead generation. Uh, today's instructor is going to be Star Jasper, who's on the line as well. And I'm just going to be hanging out today for mostly administrative. I might I might take certain. Uh, Star mentioned that the, uh, part of the agenda today is to talk about how to how to uh, import contacts into Ignite. So I'll talk about that for a little bit. But for the most part, she's going to be uh, driving the instruction for today. And so on that note, I uh, I guess hold on. We still have a couple minutes. We're, we actually we have not started just yet. Let me pause my back up. And with that, I will turn it over to Star. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I just want to say that I'm having trouble here. Here we go. All right. I want to see everybody, and I'm not sure how to be able to do that. Um, so, Star, where you, where you see the people on the top right, it says you probably have it right now, and it's set in gallery view, uh, or you have it in speaker view, and you want to switch it to gallery view. It looks like a bunch of squares in a grid. Yeah, I know. I'm not seeing a gallery grid. I'm seeing... Let me just swoosh my screen. Sometimes if you swoosh your screen, it does it. Okay. All right. I can only see a mall right now, but that's okay. Hi, I'm all. I love seeing faces. I see names, but I just don't see everybody's faces, which. Uh, okay. Do you see me? I see you. Okay. If I, yes. And you know, I have a new thing going on with Zoom. It doesn't want to work on my computer because I haven't been able to up, update it. And when I try to update it, it won't. And so it's giving me, you know, different prompts than it used to. So that's okay. Um, anyway, I just want to say good morning to everybody. And I'm so glad that you're you're here and that you can learn from that. Good morning. With um, Keller Williams, I think it's really one of the best choices I could have made, unbeknownst to me. Uh, it's just the best possible place to start your career. Uh, there's just nonstop teaching. There's so much to learn. And I couldn't imagine possibly coming into this type of business with, without having the mentors and the teaching and the help that, um, that is so, so needed. So with that, my name is Star Jasper. I've been with Keller Williams over on Larchmont for uh, five years. I'm on the leadership uh, committee. So um, it just says that I'm, I'm here for you and I'm here to help in any way I can if there are any issues with the office or with that you need help uh, with any deals, questions, that's what mainly the ALC is here for, for you and for to help each other. Um, so I'm, I'm so happy if anybody uh, has any questions, you can email me. My email address is star, S-T-A-R, at kw.com. So um, I see Julia is on the line. Julia Hines is uh, interning uh, for the next few months um, with me. She goes to Campbell Hall High School and she's going to be senior. Hi, Julia. Hi, good morning. Very, very happy that you're here. Um, and uh, everybody else, I, I, uh, I saw most of you yesterday. Um, but I don't, I don't know if everybody would just take a moment to just introduce themselves and, and say, hey, because uh, I can only see you one at a time. I'd, I'd appreciate it. And um, so, Linda Roth, can you say hey? Hey, Star, I think Linda might have stepped away from her desk for a moment. Okay. okay. Hi, Star. This is Amal. Can you see me? Yep. Hi, Amal. How are you, honey? I'm fine. Thank you. You are. Okay. Do you want to just... You could either put it in the chat or put it where you... Sorry. 
Thanks everyone. That, um, I didn't introduce your name myself. is. You can put either your email or you're more comfortable. With, whatever's easy. Just, I just want you guys. Okay. Hi. <laughs> Sorry, I think my phone lagged. I'm Jenny Turkson. I didn't introduce myself yesterday because I came in a little bit late. Um, I I just moved here from Hawaii with my husband and two boys, and I have a license in Hawaii, a realtor license, and I just got my license right. here. Put down. Excellent. Well, welcome, welcome. Okay, who else wants to chime in? My name is Amal Badron. I uh, moved from Chicago to LA. It's been a year and um, eight months, so well, close to two years. It's going to be in October. Uh, will be two years. I got my license. Um, the um, like I started, like in, I think I got my license in November, actually, and then I started with KW Lashment in January. And my email address, amal at agssi.com. Perfect. Thank you, Amal. Eric? Are you around, Eric? I got my life. I'm Eric. I got my license in January, and I've been with KW Larchmont since then. So I'm going to put my email address in the chat. All right. Nice meeting you, Eric. I saw you yesterday briefly. Very nice to have you, you on know. board. Okay. Okay. Elma. Hi. Uh, I just uh, get my license three months ago and I start with, of course, uh, Keller Williams and I am happy to be here. I was doing the international transportation and I want to change to my career to the uh, real estate. I hope uh, all of us going to be success. Uh, I wish luck all of you guys. <laughs> Uh, my email address is my first name and last name at gmail.com, but I can also put on chat too. Bye bye. That'd be great. If everybody could put their names, uh, their emails in the chat. I think that would be wonderful. Okay, yeah. And then, you know, if, if somebody can take charge and put everybody's, you know, emails and start a chat with each other. So, somebody might want to have an accountability partner, somebody might want to do script practice. There's so many different things that you can do together. If you want to market together, you can uh, save some money by maybe door knocking together and creating marketing pieces. So it, there, there's so many ways that you can be interconnected with one another, um, even at this early stage. So I, I, I recommend that. So welcome. I think we, I've seen you before, and I'm happy to see you on the call. Thank Thanks you. for joining. And Michael? Hi. Uh, I'm Michael. I just started with Keller Williams uh, about two months ago. Uh, got my real estate license last year and I'm from the LA area originally so um, this is home for me. Um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say. I will, I will put my uh, email address in the chat real quick for you guys so you have it. But nice to see everyone. Very nice. Very nice to meet you. All right, great. Um, Julia, I introduced you. I don't know if you want to say anything or you're cringing that I'm saying your name. Would you like to say hey? Oh, hi, everybody. Um, nice to see you guys again. Um, yeah, I'm a rising senior and yeah, I have not started with real estate at all, but um, yeah, it's something that I really like. So um, I really like these classes. Great. So glad you're with us. So exciting. Welcome. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so, welcome. With that. Um, so, Ed, I tried to put the... Uh, 
Did, was everybody able to upload the PDF of the, yeah, I, of the I've session? Got, so I've got the, the PowerPoint ready to run when, when, uh, when we're ready to, to dive into that. Okay, because I tried to take the PDF and put it into the chat bar so that people can use it, but it just went wonky for me, you know? You know oh, what I, I, think, I, I think everybody's has that everybody has the PDF, right? Who you have access to it? The, the PDF yeah, I don't I don't think Julia does though. We, can we maybe Julia, you don't have it, right? Or do you? I think I do. Okay, hold on a second. Okay. So while while Ed's trying to, I don't know, Ed, what are you doing? Are you doing I'm something? Putting the, I'm putting the for PDF for, for today in the in the uh, chat bar. Oh, okay, for some reason it just created the, the entire screen, so I it, it wasn't able to like download in there. But anyway, well, thank you for trying to do that, Ed. Um, and while you're trying to do that, I just want everybody to know that well, several things. One is that. I want to get you to get to your first appointment, right? Your goal, your goal for yourself is to get your first appointment or an appointment. If you've already had one before, we want to try to get the, that machine oiled and rolling so that you can really flourish. And I think if you start with really, really specific, um, specific things to do each day, uh, like lead generating and how to lead generate. Um, if you learn early on how to do what you need to do and then it just goes on autopilot and you're doing it, you're just going to be super, super successful. Um, so I would try to set a goal to get an appointment within 30 days of today, right? I think that's a really good way to go about this. Um, one of you is going to be Rookie of the Year, without a doubt. Somebody is going to take the lead and be Rookie of the Year, and it can be any of you. So I think it's most important to listen and learn the correct way to do things, and you will be on the road to being the Rookie of the Year, and then who knows where you'll go from there. But it seems like everybody who's who's here, well, first of all, you got on the call. Number one, that's just like awesome sauce, right? It's like, you know how many people are not on the call who should be on the call, who are making excuses and have reasons why they couldn't get onto it and aren't getting on it and this and that. You're here, you're doing it. And for that, awesome. It's just, you're halfway there. Um, so, these, this new Ignite is so great because everything's been condensed so that you can just clearly understand what it is um, that Gary Keller uh, put together to help you to understand like there's no secret sauce. Everything's on the table. These are the things that have just been shown. The numbers show this is how the business should be done. So I see you look at the PowerPoint, right? It says what successful apes do every day. To grow your business, lead generate for buyers and sellers, make seller listing presentations and get listings, make buyer presentations and get buyer listings, and preview real estate. That is all you need to do. You can just cross off run business. Just you might as well just cross it off because if you are not doing the four things that are on the left side of that page, nothing else matters. So you can just cross that off. We don't have to talk about a bazillion things. We have to talk about lead generating for buyers and sellers, making seller listing presentations, 
getting listings, making buyer presentations, and previewing real estate. It's so easy. Has everybody got it? And we're going to show you how to lead generate for buyers and sellers and, and uh, help you grow your business. So does anybody have any questions? about these four things. Okay. What I'm going to say is relationships are everything and how you nurture your relationships with people um, really is how it all unfolds right? So you meet somebody and you connect with them, starts with a lead and they turn into a contact and all these ways that you try to reach out and stay in touch with them throughout the course of your relationship with them will allow for them to remember that you are top of mind for them when they are looking to make a change of life, right? Whether they're having a baby or um, they're downsizing or they're just graduated college and they have a little bit of money from their parents and they're ready. If you're in there just constantly sort of being in touch, seeing how you could be of value, staying uh, alert to when the people that you know, that you love, that are around your sphere are making life changes that you're, you're maybe in there just a little bit more to see what you can do to, to be of help so that you can take them on that journey of helping them, right? And I think especially when you're uh, just getting your license, for me, this was the case. Um, your sphere, which are the people that know you, love you, want you to do your best, those are the people that are gonna give you your business initially. So, you know, we call the like low hanging fruit, right? Those people who trust you and know you and know your, your morals and your values, they want to help you. So one thing I want to just suggest that you all do is to write a letter today or by the end of this week to all of those people, all those people that, that know you, that love you, that really, really want the best for you and want to see you succeed, write them a letter. Let them know you started a Keller Williams, you have a great team by, uh, by your side, um, give them some personal information. As you know, I was doing this, but I really thought I'd take a leap of faith or however you want to structure it, be super personal about it because you're only going to send it to, I wouldn't say you have more than 20 people in your sphere, right? It's your parents, your cousins, your best friends, your teachers, your, the people you work with. There's, there's just not that many people that are, that are in this, I believe, in, in, in your like super duper sphere. So if you guys can just take, you don't have to just ponder over it. I will tell you honestly that when I got my license, I was terrified. I was a secret agent for well over a year. I didn't reach out to anybody, barely told anybody I got my license. And it does not behoove you. It does not bode well for anyone to be a secret agent. So you have to just take a breath, write down a note. It doesn't have to be today. You can take a day or two or three, but by the end of the week, if everybody would just email me the letter that they are going to send out or have sent out to this their sphere oh you're gonna feel like you have just done something amazing and you have because you've let the energy out you have letting the world know like I am open for business and I want your help so you're saying to these people I am starting I want your help whatever anybody that you know that I can be of service to I'd be so happy to help them at this time I know it's an uncertain time be always be honest and clear about what's going on you know let elephants out of the room there's a lot you know don't just put things under the carpet there's a lot going on there's a lot going on in the world in many many ways and and you can bring those things up and say like we know I know 
that it's a tough time. I just want you to know, or your, your friends to know that if there is something that they need, a roofer, um, a gardener, a painter, if they're, if they're confused and unsure about possibly needing to sell, wanting to sell, or, or wanting to make a change, like they can call me. And if, you know, and if you feel like maybe your sphere is feeling like maybe you won't have the answers, you can also put in, if I don't have the answers, I will find the answers and get back to you. You know, you have a team of people at Keller Williams that are on your team. So everybody can, can know that you are on a team. You do have a team. You can have a transaction coordinator. You can have a million agents around you to support you. You have Ed, who's your coach. It's like, this is your team. You, you, you can do whatever is needed for any client. So don't feel like you don't have the strength to make it be, because you do. You can come behind the scenes and ask all kinds of questions and then come out like, you know, a rose. You'll have all the answers. You know what? I don't know that answer right now, but I'll get back to you. That's all you have to say. And you call me, you call Ed, you call Joey, whatever you need. We're going to get you where you need to be. So feel good about that and know that that's the truth. We're all here to help make everyone as successful as they can be. Because if you're successful, I'm successful, Joey's successful, everybody's happy. You know, we all want to help each other. It's just, it's really just our the nature of our specific office. I don't really know how it is in other offices, but I can tell you that over the years, this office is stellar and I am the poster child for, for that. It's an absolute. Okay, I just went off on a tangent, uh, <laughs> but um, um, uh, I just want you guys to feel secure about asking for your full commission let people know that you are of value. You're not a discount agent. You're not going to get the deal so you'll get take 4% on something. Like you're going to start out strong. If you have to come down and commission, whatever it is, you start out with like, I am a full service agent and I charge a full commission. That's how we, that's how we roll. What are you okay? Thinking? They're next to John. What? No, I'll get, I'll get started. Just keep going. Okay, cool. So, um, do we have another PowerPoint? Do we have another page? Oh, yeah. Hold after on. this? Yeah. Uh, I love that. Um, like staying engaged with the, the database and the relationship piece. I tried to put that out. Yeah. So this is really talking about is the eight steps of from when you meet somebody to when you close a deal. Am I still here? Yeah, uh, we can hear you. Uh, we can hear you fine, Star. It's uh, kind of choppy. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you sound choppy too. Yeah, I hear you chopping, so I don't know if it's from me or. Um... Is anybody uh, else having trouble? Uh, I, I hear um, I'm getting pretty choppy. Pretty choppy voice from you as well. Huh. Yeah, um, same thing too. Yeah, it's choppy. Maybe it's a Zoom connection. It must be. Yeah. I don't ever have any. I don't usually have problems with Zoom. Do you guys usually have a problem where you, where you are? No, I I'm getting most of what you're saying. It's just at times it will get a bit choppier than 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 usual. Uh, but yeah. I'm, I'm getting the gist of it. I think. Yeah. I yeah, like like right now that that was choppy. I didn't <laughs> I didn't I didn't I didn't get that part. Um, hmm. Uh, 
Well, everyone else sounds okay. I think it's just your connection because everyone else is coming clear. Star, are you running off of Wi-Fi uh, or off of a uh, hard wire to the computer? Uh, you're probably, probably hooked up. You're on, probably on Wi-Fi now. Right? Yeah. Oh, wait, I'm back. Hmm. Um, Should I try to move around? Yeah, maybe maybe if you're closer to wherever your your Wi-Fi router is. Hmm. Oh, that actually sounds it sounds that, better. For, it sounds better for the moment, so that that might work. <laughs> Does everybody hear me clearly now? Um, <laughs> yeah. So, 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 I mean, we, yeah, we're never have much, problems. Or... We're, uh, we're you maybe it will hear. Yeah, keep talking. Maybe it will. Okay. Let me know if you can hear me. I'd like to continue if I'm not chopping up. It, I, I think. Let's let's keep going. Let's see. I'll, I'll tell you if it, if, it, if it gets choppy again. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we're looking at the, the lead generation model. Uh, how do I sound? Uh, better. I'm, I'm I'm hearing pretty clearly. Yeah, better. Okay. Good. Okay. So this is showing it's kind of like a funnel as you can see right so it's like the more people you talk to the more prospecting you do the more marketing you do the more contacts and leads uh, you have and then once you have a lead which is somebody who you reached out to not necessarily connected with and a contact somebody who you've had a two-way conversation with um, how you cultivate your connection with them uh, can bring you to your first appointment to getting uh, either the listing or getting into contract in some way and then closing the deal with them so it's not a difficult Thing to do to talk to like 10 people each day and that's basically what's being asked um, that's what lead generation is it's getting in touch with people staying in touch with them and being top of mind for them when a need comes up so it's just like your friends, like you're just connecting with them, seeing how they're doing. They are, your, you know, they're like people that you like. I mean, if you want to be in this business, I hope you're a people person and that you like people and that you want to help people because at the end of the day, that is exactly what it's second nature for me. I, I'm a people person and I'm a helper. So like, I want to know how everybody's doing. This is people that I know and people that I don't know. People that I can help, I want to help. I see strangers on the street, I'll help them with a grocery bag or take their wagon away from them to the market if they're elderly, like whatever, I just, that's just my nature. So, so if you have that in you, that's wonderful. If it isn't, you have to try to work a little bit harder thinking about how you can do things to stay in touch uh, with people in different ways. And we even have examples of, of, of ways to, uh, we call them touches, how to touch um, clients, family, friends, fear. There are many, many ways that you can stay in touch and it's fun. And when you think about the ways to do it, it it's like, oh my God, that's so easy and fun and natural and just a caring way to, to do business and to live life, right? So. I mean, you don't want to reach out and stay in touch with people who are jerks. So just delete them from your freaking database, right? It's your business. This is 
your people. It's who you want to deal with. You don't care if they have $5 million or $10 million. If they're jerks, you don't want to work with them. And it doesn't mean that you can't refer them out to somebody. There's always a way to be able to, to, to work something for yourself. If, if, if you have trouble with a person, you can always have somebody else work with them. And, and just, it's just important to, to stay in touch, stay connected so that you are the professional resource when it comes time for them to make a change. So is that good? Clear? Um, um, go to ask these questions. Video. You want to watch video? Uh, what, what's that? Do we want to watch video? Uh, you were, I, I couldn't hear what you were saying there. Oh. Do we want to watch a video? Oh yeah, uh, so, so I think we got a few more slides here and I think there's a video coming up. Uh, oh, there's more to do with the video? A little bit, hold on. Uh, oh, I love the, the, um, can you hear me? Yeah. The database, the part two database. Mm -hmm. so but we the... can, if you can get the... Lead generation is the first thing you should do. Make those calls. I took what I already knew and how I would go and shop for a house and just applied it to them. It's a numbers game. You know, if you can track how many people you're calling in a day and how many hours you're doing this, there's a formula. Make those calls. I used those things that I did innately to attract my clients. I became a hyper-local expert in the military because I am a military spouse. The two key things that I did to, to generate the most success uh, for me were social media and open houses um, because I didn't have the database like everybody else did. So I had to find ways that I could get in front of people fast and um, also something that would be maybe ha the buyer or seller would be ready and willing to buy now versus later. And I'm lead generating specifically in an area that is military friendly, military heavy. It really is in the follow up. Uh, don't just ask for business every single time you see them. Be present in their lives, build the relationship. The least effective marketing activities for me were cold calling. And that's just because my niche market, they're not gonna be already local. They're gonna be moving from other bases. Then I decided, well, if I'm gonna leverage cold calling, let's do it more purposeful and let's do it only in my niche market where i know that there's military there they're likely to buy or sell in three to four years mindset was a huge part of my success one of the things i tell myself uh, for an open house is one good lead every time and so i start that action at least a week beforehand i do a social media campaign i follow up with all the likes and comments and then I do a door knock around the, the open house. And then I uh, follow up with anybody who is um, active at the open house. And usually that results in at least one buyer or seller leads, usually more. So my first year, obviously, you know, the minute I made the change, it's super scary. I've got a network of people still reaching out to me to, um, you know, help them with what I was doing before, which was post-production. And I knew that my job in the beginning of the year, starting out, was changing people's mind from thinking, if they met somebody who needed a commercial made, they thought of me. I knew my job was to change all the people who knew and trusted me. When they heard somebody needed to buy a house or sell their house, they thought of me. You know, if you're starting out and you don't have that network, be really intentional about where you spend your time. You go get gas, you could meet somebody who needs to buy a house. Just think that way and you'll attract that to yourself. 
I think everybody likes to talk about real estate. Your job is for people to know that you are in real estate and that they will bring it up. Open houses are by far just the best thing you should do out of the gate every weekend, each day. Starting out, I did door knocking, I did mailing, I didn't get a great return, but I would totally, I wouldn't, I wouldn't change that. If I was starting out again, I would door knock. It's just talking to people, getting rejected, uh, you know, it's great experience, no matter what. Um, I'll also say that the most important thing is that your lead generation strategy is coming from a place of authenticity. You're not gonna get every client in the city, but there are people out there that are gonna resonate with who you are um, and just figure out a way to bring value. The income is secondary. That's how I go about it, and I think that really resonates with my, obviously, with my set of people that I take care of. My lead generation strategies in the beginning were a challenge. Um, I actually honestly believed when I first started that lead generation was cold calling and door knocking. So I kind of stayed away from that. I was fearful, I was anxious. But over the course of the business, the things that were innate to me, uh, networking, open houses, facilitating classes, it allowed me the opportunity to connect. And I start to see that as opportunities for lead gen. And it was far more effective for me because it was natural. I, let me just go back. When I became a new agent from the time that I was in Ignite and graduated from Ignite in October, November, December, I closed with eight transactions in just three months. And during that period of time, I noticed a developmental gap. And, and I say this to say, I was spurred to partner and collaborate with some other agents and create master classes as well as launch and learns monthly to share, um, you know, mindset, motivational speaking. And through this, I was able to build a community or I was able to build a group and a network broader than myself that basically helped others in home buying and also with other agents to help build their skill sets. It has put me and set me apart from other agents. Lead gen pitfalls that I've seen agents do are just being cookie cutter, looking at a Successful agent or looking someone looking at someone else and doing exactly what they do doesn't necessarily work for everyone. Scripts gave me more confidence to to be able to know what to say when I was talking to certain clients. Also, there's different approaches to different questions that may be asked. So instead of looking at scripts as oh I have to memorize this verbatim, it was a resource to gain knowledge and and definitely help me to build confidence even though I was not planning on using it verbatim. I've always said my purpose is to empower and to elevate others to a level of excellence. And when I meet with my clients, I want to make sure that they have enough information and they feel empowered to make the decision. How can I do that? How can I help you to make you feel that once we've made this connection, you are elevated? With my time blocking for the first two hours of every day, I would do lead generation. And sometimes it would be four hours if I wasn't getting the productivity that week that I wanted. Um, and then I followed up with all of my clients and learned just lots of very successful habits through at night. I think that a lot of new agents want to try all different types of lead generation. They're not really honing any talent in one or two different lead generation. There's all kinds of different models that they are not made for everybody. The best lead generation model for me was my sphere. I called my sphere every day. The number two way that I got business and did lead generations was open house. I found for me, the best way to connect was to be in front of them. People I already knew um, that I had built a relationship with or I had met at an open house and I had time to actually connect with them. The script that the Ignite program provided for me really worked because they, they helped me get out of my comfort zone when I was having to call everybody in my phone book and let them know that I had transitioned to job, um, what I was doing, and it gave me the dialogue to ask uh, on our team, we have picked six different nonprofits locally that we like. Um, and we do an event with all of those nonprofits every year. And we meet lots of new people that way. We invite all of our former clients, we invite um, our vendors, and then we invite the neighborhoods. We go door knocking for the event around the park we're doing this. Um, so then we also have client appreciation. We try to do that quarterly. We'll do a client appreciation event where we invite everybody out to a restaurant and then we provide appetizers and we just have fun. It's not necessarily a salesy event. It's just about having fun. By being out in the community, they see that 
We are knowledgeable about what we're doing, but we're also giving back. We care about where we live. My first year as a realtor, I tried just about everything in terms of prospecting and lead generation. What I found for me was that I present best when I'm face to face with somebody. So I really focused on um, open houses and then networking and getting out for coffees, uh, making myself visible in the community, and uh, and then always making sure that I, I was able to speak to what was happening uh, in the market at any time. So keeping keeping up to date with local news and projects in and around town, uh, I found to be very helpful when, when talking with people. To set myself apart from the many other agents out there, I've been utilizing video. And I find that putting the, the videos out on Facebook and a YouTube channel, and then even emailing them to clients really allows people to feel like they, they get to know you. And I've had experiences where I've talked to people on the phone and they were especially with out of town investor clients. And they were not necessarily ready to go with me until I sent them a video saying hello, outlining how I can help them. It was good to have the phone call with them, et cetera. And the feedback I've gotten on the videos has been very, very strong. The biggest pitfalls I saw other agents having um, and, and even fell into myself with lead generation was not uh, having consistent follow up. So if I had an open house and I got some names and numbers and contacts and um, told them I'd be in touch with them, um, sometimes I would get overwhelmed and, and I wouldn't touch base with them in a timely, in a timely manner um, or to follow up on calls with somebody that has shown some interest, um, making sure that you stay on top of things and follow up with your, with your contacts is very important. Scripts are great for understanding what objections you might encounter and how to overcome those objections. What I discovered was I would learn what the foundation of the script was. What was it trying to get me to say? And then I would be able to, just by knowing that and, and, and having read it over and over and over, when I would have an objection come up, I was able to utilize those scripts, the content of the scripts in my own words. Okay. Questions? Thoughts? Ahas? We lose you. No, that, that was that was I, I really that, that was my first time seeing that video. Um, yeah, I, I I mean I thought it was I thought it was really th th a lot of great advice there from from established agents. Yeah. Yeah, that last guy. Can you hear me? Am I breaking up? No, we can hear you. Yeah. No, that last guy was a rookie. That was like his first year like he was just like a out of the park like seven figure like made tons and tons of money and did a great job his first year that was i think his first year uh yeah i i, I felt like it was good it's a little anxiety provoking i kind of felt that that video quite honestly it wasn't so it kind of felt a little bit like you have to be a little salesy which i i was uh a little like you have, I don't know. There was just something about it that just seemed like a little antithetical to how I how I approach uh, my business. But we're all in our own businesses, and we all uh, lead generate and do things in different ways. Um, I, I would, you know, always, especially uh, in these times, encourage calling people to do something. I mean, nothing better right now to just get on the phone with people and to uh you know honestly ask how they're doing that's like a bit of lead generating right there yeah uh, you start sorry you're, you're starting okay. to break up a little bit again i i mean i'm at my router i don't i don't understand hmm. but you're breaking up too i'm sorry okay ed do you want to show uh how to add a contact on man that would be super helpful sure. i think sure you got it so here, here let me go into i definitely need two hours for this i want so i want so much i want i want to say things <laughs> <laughs> i want to share so much uh so awesome it's sorry not... and see so... Here, I'll teach you guys really quick. Uh, many of you guys know this already, but uh, we'll, we'll just do a, a quick little tutorial here on how to add contacts into command. So there's actually a few different methods. So 
for those of you who, who are brand new and, and haven't explored command yet, this is command. This is our, our main tool as Keller Williams agents. This is provided to all of you. You don't have to use command. There's only one little piece of command that you have to use. That's when you, when you're closing to, to, to get paid. Um, but as far as like having your data, uh, your contacts in here, you don't have to do that, but we do highly recommend it. Um, but anyways, here's command. I'll give you a quick little overview. There's these little applets on the left-hand side, uh, the home, home screen, the contacts, uh, tasks, etc. So we're going to go into contacts right here. And so can you guys all see that okay? I will say that if you're running if you're running command on a Mac for whatever reason, Chrome tends to work a little better than Safari uh, as a browser. Um, it's not crucial. I, I run mine on Safari all the time, but if you ever run into problems, it might be because it runs better on Chrome, uh, especially when you're using the designs part right there. Uh, so here's a, <laughs> here's all my contacts, and uh, you can have different ways of viewing them. Like I can view all my hot and warm leads. So uh, it typically doesn't run this slow. It's running this whenever I've got Zoom running and I'm sharing a screen, everything runs a little bit slower. So bear with me. Um, here's all my hot and warm contacts, people who are you know likely to uh, buy or sell in the next year. Um, so any one of these people, uh, here's all the custom tags I have assigned to them. All of these have either hot or warm assigned, but they have lots of other ones too. Uh, so here I, I can log into this contact here. And so when I'm, this is everything about the contact and then this is everything about what they're up to. Here's their timeline, a history of when I've made phone calls to them or whatever, um, opportunities, smart plans, tasks. Some of that stuff is outside of the, the scope of this right here, but in a, in a quick, let me just show you very quickly just how easy it is to add a new contact. So I'll just go back here to the, the home screen um, on contacts. <clears throat> and up in the top right, it just says there's this big green button that says add contact. So I just click that. And it'll pull up this screen here, entering the information. Uh, this person is Joe Smith. Uh, his email is joe.smith at gmail.com. And his phone number is 555-555.1212. You can put other things in here too. You can add, you maybe you want to add them as a tag. Like I have a lot of tags that I use because I like to keep my stuff very organized. You'll, you'll have a tags you want to create as well. Um, I also like having a little thing in there about their family, occupation, recreation, and dreams. So here with this contact here, they don't have anything but um, has two kids, right? Uh, occupation uh, works as uh, works at L A L A P D. Uh, recreations likes shooting his gun. Um, dreams. Uh, what's his his dream? He uh, dreams. Uh, Think of dreams as being some, uh, anything in the future, right? So uh, wants to go to Hawaii for Christmas. And there you go. So I would hit here. I'm not going to do it now, but if I hit create, that's, that's how quickly you create a contact. Um, there's other ways as well. You can, uh, there's a thing called PySync where you can have it sync up to your phone automatically and bring everybody in. But for now, you might want to just do them one by one and just bring, bring people in from, from your phone one at a time and uh, bring them into command. So there's a, a quick little overview of how to create a contact in command. Any questions on that? Any questions on command in general while we're here? Okay, so let me jump back here to the PowerPoint. Ba -ba -ba. Oops, oh, well, let's go through here. Um, Star, are you still there? Oh, I think we may have lost Star. Is that the command, is that 
how do you get access? How do you get to that website? So if you just go to agent.kw.com okay. um, and you're going to need a KW username and password, uh, that you can uh, call, ch check with Tara at the front desk about how to get that if you don't have it already. And we'll make sure you get one. So everybody when they join KW gets a Keller Williams username and password that you use for lots of different things throughout Keller Williams. But that, that's how you'll get access to your command database. They actually just sent it to me as we were talking and I didn't know the I didn't have the website, so you answered my question. <laughs> well, there you go. It's perfect. Yeah, uh, perfect timing. Um, uh, I'll give you guys a couple concepts here since we lost Star, but just a couple things you guys will want to know. Um, hold on a second. Someone, someone's uh, mic is leaking. I just keep. Oh, there's. Hey, Star, we see you. you're coming in right now. Star, can you hear me? Just... Star, can you hear me? Okay, I'll, I'll keep going till till she gets uh, back hooked up here. But I am. Talking... I'm sorry. Can you hear so me? Star? I'm trying to move all over the house. <laughs> Try to make. <laughs> no, you're. Uh, I guess you're you're logged in with your iPhone now because I will tell you yeah. that the the quality is like night and day. It's like crystal clear. Um, so we we're just talking about uh, marketing versus versus prospecting. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you see it there on your on your screen, the the PowerPoint I'm sharing. I do, I do. Um, I I see marketing. Yeah, it costs money. Um, it's a passive way. It's also, I don't know if I'm recommending for the newer agents to really be doing any marketing that costs money right now. Um, so. It would be great, I believe, to do right now. The social media thing is just like everybody's home and everybody's getting on social media. And unless you do have, a, you know, a listing uh, that you must market and 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 probably pay for Facebook ads, I would say just uh, get, you know, have a platform, social media, Facebook, Instagram, whatever, Snapchat, TikTok, whatever it is you like to do, and. Uh, and, and, and do that, right? Because I, I think people are starting to do a little door knocking now. And I think that, you know, there are different thoughts around that. And I think you'll have to just decide for yourself whether you feel like it's appropriate yet or if you feel like you're getting pushback. Um, you know, mail is also something funny. Opening, people are, I know I'm not opening the door for my mailman. I know I'm spraying my mail down before I open it. So. You know, I'm a little kooky maybe, but so yeah, you have to work with what's going on at the moment. And I think right now is like social media. Absolutely. Zoom calls are great. You can, you can do all sorts of live FaceTime calls, things like that. Ed, what, what do you think? I, I totally agree with everything you're saying. And uh, as far as the, uh, this slide, just the, to note the difference when people talk about marketing versus prospecting. Uh, marketing is, is uh, when you when you broadcast stuff to a wide array of people and you're you're hoping that they contact you for example you post something on social media and do a boosted post so you spend a few dollars and send it off to a thousand people you're hoping that they reply and engage right whereas prospecting is like where you get in front of people and, it, and it's it's you're directly contacting those people that you're trying to, to, to reach like an open house is prospecting because you're you're meeting people as they walk in the door or picking up the phone and calling people you already know that's, that's prospecting. So just to know, cause throughout, throughout Keller Williams, we talk a lot about uh, marketing versus prospecting and that, that, that's what people are referring to. Prospecting is like uh, open houses, door knocking. Cause when you knock on the door and they answer, you're, you're directly talking to them, uh, mm -hmm. calling people on the phone. Uh, these are all things that are prospecting. Marketing is like running ads, uh, you know, uh, anything that's advertising, anything that's, you know, that, that ending off postcards, all that kind of stuff, that's all marketing. Right. Um, right, right, right. Um, so can we get to the touch campaigns, the leads and the contacts? Yeah, uh, I know it's 1230, right? So it's supposed to be over. Do you have yes. somewhere to go? Um, it's just one more thing. It's just this yeah. one thing. 
that I would just love for everybody to highlight. Always have it nearby. Always look at it. It's kind of like your 411, right? In some ways, you have to really just remember what it is you're going to do for the week. And part of it will be um, looking at your touch campaigns and seeing how you're connecting with people and making sure you're on target. So um, you can just look this over and see that you can do like, they say like in order to get somebody from like a lead to a contact, it takes 19 times for you to connect with them, to actually capture them, right? And, and, and move them along. So it's like quarterly phone calls, 12 touches, either an email, a newsletter, market report, video. Uh, it, it just makes so much sense. Two touches, either uh, sending them direct mail, calendar, market report. You know, it's very nice, especially right now, and nobody ever really loves to do it or does it, is to just write a note. Send a birthday card. How about that? Everybody that's in your database, call them up. Hey, I'm, I don't have your birthday. I'm putting everybody's birthday in my database. It's a reason to touch, and it's also, then you'll be able to, to add a touch to your touch campaign if you want to do a birthday touch, which I love. You can send a birthday card. You're not asking for business. You're just sending them a birthday card. They know who you are. So um, I love that. Calendar, market report. Um, I know Ed loves to do um, the where you send everybody uh, like a CMA for their neighborhood, for their particular area which is a brilliant, brilliant idea, which you could talk more about um, if you're interested. Um, so that's for leads and then for contacts, the same thing, reaching out for four touches, four phone calls quarterly to your whole database, uh, 26 touches, bi-weekly email offering, some type of information of value to the customer. It could be anything, uh, touches, events, maybe like zoom call events i don't know things are starting to open up so soon we'll be able to like meet people places parks bars uh get togethers parties uh barbecues summer's coming uh and for touches promotional direct mail such as magnet calendar market report etc so you know there are so many ways to connect with people and i think the most important thing is to be uh, authentic and come from contribution and care um, and it's not really like salesy business stuff you really you know even if I go to when I used to go to parties or to dinner parties I would always go on the MLS and look up first of all the like the immediate area around the person who's having a dinner party just so if there are people that I don't know that are there and we're all sitting and having cocktails and talking, I, you know, I don't have to say I'm a realtor. I could say, Oh yeah, you know, I, 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 you know, there's a house on the market two blocks away that's selling for like 2.4. I think that's super high for this neighborhood. You know, just have your information wherever you are, look up, take five, 10 minutes, get on the MLS, look at the numbers, see what's going on, see how much houses cost, you know, price per square foot in the area. So you have some talking points because people will engage immediately and they will ask you questions about that particular neighborhood. And if they don't live in your particular neighborhood, that's a reason to get their information. I would love to, to, to sort you out and get you that info. What's your email address? And always, always, always be sure when you're getting some information from somebody, don't just get their phone number. Find out their phone number and find out their email address and their name. If you can get their home address, wonderful. It's not, it's not imperative, but it is imperative for certain marketing strategies. But, um, you know, always get as much information <clears throat> from them as you can. So you can put them in your database and start them on a, maybe like a drip campaign. If you're sending out like a monthly email that goes out automatically, you know, then they're in your database and you're sending them information and it's all cool. It doesn't have to be like this, like hardcore stuff. Just find ways and find ways to prospect that you enjoy. That's number one. Don't cold call if you are not that person. 
I'm not that person. I don't cold call. Not that I wouldn't and not that I won't because times have changed. There's been a pivot. There's been a shift and cold calling is a good thing to start doing. So it is something I am trying to wrap my head around. So always be open um, and, and uh, just, you can just talk to anybody anywhere at any time and real estate can come up, but don't make it like brain damage. Just talk to people. See, see where you can add value and help them. That's it. That's my spiel. I love it. Hey, Star, let me just add something here too, uh, just to, to add to what you're saying. Yesterday we were talking about your database, remember all the contacts in your phone and what, what, the, what the dollar value of that is. Like how, what, how many people do we think are going to have transactions who are currently in your phone and all. This, this second part, this, this part down below here, so the, the part up above where it says 19 to connect, that's like when you meet people from scratch. Uh, you meet somebody in an open house or you meet them at a networking event or at a party. The, the theory is that you, you, you connect with them 13, 19 times, 19 touches, and that by the end of that, they're like somebody you now know. They'll know you if you call them and you guys are now connected. Once, you, once you're connected with someone and the people on your phone, presumably you're already connected to, um, then you do this 36, con, 36 to convert, this, this plan down below, it's, it means over the course of every year, you wanna to touch them 36 times. And if you do that, if you just touch these people 36 times uh, every year, um, I like this plan that they have right here, this is really good. Um, I would say that right now, there's not a lot of, like Star was saying, there's not a lot of events that's happening right now, so maybe you don't do those two touches. Uh, and instead of the bi-weekly email, maybe uh, an email once a month, and then a boosted social media post once a month, to, to kind of get you to the same spot, but not, not quite so heavy on the email. Um, but either way, I mean, you, right, you could use this one right out of the box. And if you start doing this, it is amazing how it starts to work. Like you don't have to like, it just starts to work. Like you just don't worry about it and you just trust the system and you call them four times a year and you're sending the emails. And all of a sudden, remember we were talking about how it's like a big vat of oranges all, all the orange juice starts dripping out little by little. All of a sudden, the next thing you know, you've got like a stream of orange juice flowing out of your database. Remember, we were saying yesterday, there's like $250,000 worth of business that's in most of, most people on this call's database. That, that's how you do it. You just, you just do this 36 touch campaign and we'll go into details on that. But if you do that, like everything else will just start the, 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 the lead will start falling out of, they'll just coming out of that, that, that uh that database worth of stuff mm -hmm. that's great and just <clears throat> one other thing i want to re reiterate is to please 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 send your sphere an email email it to me if you wish star at kw.com i would love to to read it and love to give you some feedback and <clears throat> just uh and just to help you in any way but i really really recommend um, instead of maybe making 10 calls today, maybe you can make five calls today and write that email to your sphere. <clears throat> that, 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 would, that would really, really get you going. All right. Awesome. So if anybody has any questions, please feel free to reach out for any reason. Okay. Ed, you're the best. Thank you. Thank you so much for orchestrating. And thank you, Star. And thank you're you. Welcome. Uh, you're welcome. I, I have thank so much you. more to share. I feel like it was just the tip of the iceberg. We didn't really get very, very deep or far. But I'm, uh, um, I'm, I'm, I'm here to help anybody one on one. If anybody has any further questions and want to dial down further, okay. So we're all here for you. And uh, good luck and enjoy the rest of Ignite. And you may see me one or two more times uh, on these calls. All right. Take care, everybody. Have a great day. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank Bye, you. everybody. Have a great weekend. We'll see you all on Monday. You too. Okay. Okay.